Mobile web traffic makes up over half of all web traffic. If your website isn't mobile friendly, you're basically turning people away from your business. Plus, as of September 2020, Google prioritizes the mobile version of your website when crawling it. So, if you don't have a mobile friendly website, you may even hurt your rankings in the search results. That means even fewer people will visit your website. What you should take away from this is that your website needs to work well on all devices so you can meet people's needs, whether they're using a desktop computer or a smartphone. A key to making your website mobile friendly is using responsive web design. What is responsive web design? With responsive web design, you set your site up so that it adjusts to different screen sizes. Generally, the content on your responsive website stays the same between devices, but you may see differences in the layout and sizing of your site elements. As an example, let's say that on your desktop computer, your homepage has a paragraph of text on the left and a form on the right. A computer monitor is typically a lot wider than a phone screen, so when this page loads on a phone, the paragraph of text sits above the form. You don't want to have people pinching and zooming to view your website on their phone, so responsive design seeks to prevent that when it adjusts to different devices. When you want to make a website mobile friendly, responsive design is just the beginning. Many elements go into having a mobile friendly site, which I'll talk about in a bit. How to check if your website is mobile friendly. You don't need 100 different devices to test your site's mobile friendliness. You can check this in a few ways. First, our SEO checker can analyze your site's mobile friendliness. Second, Google has a mobile friendliness testing tool you can use. In fact, you can just Google mobile friendly test, paste your URL in the box, and start the test. Third, another fun way to see if your site is responsive is to go to any page on your site, right click, select inspect, and then go through the device options at the top of the page to see how your site looks on different screens. This will give you an idea of how much work you have ahead of you. Hopefully it's not a lot. What's the cost of making a website mobile friendly? Unfortunately, there's not an exact number for how much you'll need to invest in a mobile friendly site. It really depends on the scope of your project and your needs. If one website has 20 pages that need mobile optimization and another website has 200, the 20 page project will take less time and require fewer resources. In general, the average website design project can cost anywhere from $12,000 to $150,000, excluding maintenance. But if you don't need a total redesign or only require smaller adjustments, you'll probably spend a little bit less. If you take on responsive or mobile web design yourself, the cost depends on what tools you use and how much value you assign to your time. What makes a website mobile friendly? Here are five key tips. Don't focus on responsive design and ignore other elements of your website. You can do a lot to improve your user's mobile experience beyond having responsive pages. Forget the mouse. When people use their phones or tablets, they likely don't have a mouse to help them navigate through the pages. You need to make sure your website is tap friendly. A thumb is a lot bigger than a cursor, so having clickable elements that are too close together or that don't work when tapped can create a poor user experience and chase people away from your business. Speed things up. People are not patient. If your website takes longer than a few seconds to load, you're going to lose potential customers. If you plug your pages into Google's PageSpeed Insights tool, you can see how fast they load and what you need to do to make them even faster. You may want to consider using Accelerated Mobile Pages, or AMP, which can help your site load super quickly on mobile devices. Make sure all images and graphics you use are compressed. You'd be surprised how much of a difference a compressed file can make. Instead of self-hosting your videos, embed them through a third-party hosting provider like YouTube or Wistia. An added benefit is that you'll have access to plenty of data to tell you how your videos are performing. Ask fewer questions. On forms, that is. In general, it's better to keep your website forms short. Cut out any unnecessary fields so people can quickly give you the information that matters. Think about the mobile experience. Typing on a phone isn't always fun. The keyboard is small, the letters are too close together. The less you have to type on a phone, the better. Stick with the most important information you need to communicate with your customers and cut everything else. Watch out for pop-ups. On a computer, you have plenty of space for a pop-up to enter the screen and not completely disrupt people's reading. On a mobile device, a pop-up may take over someone's screen. How would you feel if you were reading an article on your phone and all of a the sudden there's a big pink box obscuring the text? The words frustrated and annoyed come to mind for me. Even worse, 
If someone can't figure out how to close the pop-up, they may abandon the site altogether. You may want to avoid pop-ups or use them sparingly on mobile devices to avoid creating a bad user experience. Slice through large paragraphs. Break up with long blocks of text because I'm bored. While a four sentence paragraph might look small on a large monitor, it will take up much more space on a phone. You don't have to write less, just break larger paragraphs into smaller ones. Shorter paragraphs can help make your content easier to read. You can also break your content into smaller sections. So start with the main heading and add subheadings throughout that correspond with different subtopics. Adding multimedia elements can help break things up, but keep in mind that videos and photos can slow your page down if not optimized properly. If you update your content according to these five tips, you're bound to make your website mobile friendly. If you need help with responsive web design or with making different elements of your site ready for mobile users, don't hesitate to reach out to our website professionals. Two things before you go. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss the latest video and sign up for our revenue weekly newsletter to keep up with the latest digital marketing topics. Thanks for watching.